The Calify is a new Blender add-on, actually a Geometry Nodes modifier that lets you turn any 3D mesh into a decal. In practical terms, it takes a 3D mesh, flattens it and translates its normal into a flat version, then projects it onto a target's object surface. The result is a seamless decal that looks like it is part of the underlying mesh, which can be useful for hard surface modeling, sci-fi stuff, game and VFX asset creation, in addition to other things. So let's see what this tool is all about. Using Decalify in practice is surprisingly intuitive and easy to do. Since it lives in the modifier stack, it feels like using any built-in Blender modifier. And here is the workflow I followed. You can model or grab a mesh that you want and use it as a decal. Add that mesh to your main scene, then apply the Decalify Geometry Nodes modifier to it. In the modifier settings, you simply pick the target object or the surface you want to stick the decal on. And in an instant, the mesh flattens and hugs the surface and it happens in real time in a non-destructive way. You can move or rotate the decal object and it continues to conform to the surface. The UI for the modifier is clean and actually self-explanatory. There are fields or things like sub-D level to increase depth mesh resolution for curves, depth, which is the thickness for the decal projection to avoid Z fighting, and toggles for advanced options like shrink wrap projection, normal bend, UV transfer, etc. And I found that I didn't need most of these settings, especially for basic use. It just worked out of the box, but it is a great thing that there are some settings that you can fine tune. On a side note, if you are applying decals on a flat surface, you can disable the extra projection and transfer options to keep things light, because those features are more for curved surfaces and turning them off can avoid slowing down your scene unnecessarily. This add-on packs some interesting features that make it stand out. First of all, it can project decals onto curved or complex surfaces with ease. There is an internal deformation system that ensures the decal wraps around even extreme curvatures. I tested it on a rounded model, and the decal conformed in a nice way, which is really satisfying. There is a toggle for projection method that lets you choose between nearest surface and raycast, which helps you to get the best fit. Another feature is shrink wrap border. It basically pushes the edges of your decal mesh down onto the surface, so you don't get any weird gaps or floating bits around the boundary. This makes the decal look like it is truly painted on. Then we have normal transfer, a feature that blends the normals on the decal with the target object's normals. In simple terms, that smooths out any shading seam where the decal meets the surface, so lighting continues across as if they were one object and it is one of those subtle things that really sounds the realism. And speaking about seams, Decalify can even transfer the target's UV map onto the decal. I like this because if you are texturing, say doing a substance paint or pass, or procedural materials, the decal can share the same UV space, meaning no visible texture seams between the decal and the base mesh. This is a huge plus for workflows where you plan to bake or paint on the combined result. Beyond decals, the developer points out that you can use it as a general surface deform tool, basically wrap any mesh onto any other mesh while keeping its 3D details, which opens up some creative possibilities. Overall, Decalify is a nice time saver if you want to give it a shot, and if you are interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.